We're down here on Willaluka Station in the southeast of South Australia, setting up some farm board systems to help them monitor their water remotely. We've just unpacked the contents of one of these boxes which arrived via Australia Post. The contents is what you see here. We've got the monitor, the legs, the Allen key with which to fix the legs to the monitor, the probe, hydrostatic probe, tech screws to fix it to the tank. You will need to bring your own hole saw. Make sure you've got a 30 mil hole saw of some form. Electric drill, 5.8 tech clip, which is the size all of them come with. Otherwise, we do give you uh, a Phillips head screw option there for gulf tanks. And bring along a ladder so you can get to the top and a, a measuring tape so that you can get an accurate read on the height of the tank to overflow so we can get the monitor reading accurately and giving you correct volumes. Well, now that we've got everything out and ready to go, we'll start fixing the legs first. Okay, now we've got the legs on. The next step is to attach the probe. Make sure the female and males line up. Put it into the socket. And when you're turning, wait for the click. You'll hear a click and feel a click, and then you know that it's fixed correctly to the monitor, and it's not going to fall out. You'll notice that the uh, probe itself is protected by some foam and a cable tie. Leave this on until the last minute. It just makes sure that uh, nothing goes wrong with the probe, we don't damage the diaphragm inside. As part of the setup process, it's important that you take a moment to document the details of each site. So not only the name of the tank, uh, but its volume, its height to overflow, and also the serial number of the farm bot you're fastening to the tank. For a cell farm bot, it'll be a G number. G dash with a three digit number following and for a satellite monitor the serial number will begin with a zero dash and then a seven digit number. Once we have all of the site details, the tank name, the volume, height to overflow and the serial number of the farm bot, we'll use that serial number to activate the, the monitor and that'll begin transmitting data to your dashboard on your phone or computer. We have the feed on and the probe plugged in, it's time to put the monitor on the tank. Importantly, the monitor needs to go, well it doesn't matter where on the tank the monitor goes, but it does need to face north because it's a solar powered unit and it needs access to the sun. So shade across the top is not ideal, it needs to face due north, anywhere from north northeast to north northwest is fine, and you need to ensure that when we place the probe inside the tank, it's more than one and a half meters from any outlet so that the movement of water through the pipes is not going to play havoc with the data readings. So when you're looking at where you're going to put your hole in the tank, make sure that you put it down to see that you're going to put the hole in the right place. Once we have the hole in the tank, now's the time to take the foam off the probe and then we just drop the probe through the 30mm hole and just feed all of the cable in. And there's roughly 6 metres of cable here. A lot of people wonder about whether or not it needs to be suspended to keep the probe upright or off the bottom. It doesn't matter. If you've got a clean tank, the probe can lie flat on the bottom with all of the cable. We try and keep all of the cable inside the tank to remove any potential for vermin damage and so on. However, if you do have a tank that you know is full of silt, in situations like that we do recommend you suspend the probe 5 or 10 centimetres above the silted uh, bottom. So with the probe and cable inside the tank, and the farm bot in place, it's really just a question of fixing the farm bot to the tank with four tech screws using that 5 8 tech bit we mentioned earlier. 
is less than a minute to zip it straight onto the tank. Now that the probe's fixed to the tank, all you need to do is switch it on, move the lever into the forward position, that's towards the solar panel, and the rest of the setup can be done online from your phone.